you but I found these particular images very much heartwarming once again really it is nice to see and as I told you in a recent video His Majesty the King King Charles III our King here across of course the wonderful United Kingdom and let's not forget the Commonwealth and for many people the rest of the world attended church in Sandringham alongside the Queen Queen Camilla and I commend him for doing this you know because when you're feeling a little bit down as we all are at times and I know I wish everybody well here on our channel our community chums that were having you know problems and all that sort of stuff just it's hard isn't it sometimes just to get out the chair you know you think oh goodness you know so it's commendable uh, you know as I said but he doesn't want to become an invisible king as one can imagine and when you think about it whatever it's still a great effort to get out there put your clothes on be seen and smile and wave knowing that everybody's going to be scrutinizing every element as we now know his majesty the king was in particularly moved by all the wonderful heartfelt messages that he received at royal palaces all wishing him the very best not just from of course esteemed world leaders you know presidents and uh, kings and all sorts of stuff it's the public really that matter that's the ones that really get you because they've gone through it in a very much normal way and that's the thing i've been told that his majesty the king really hangs on to real stories you know because that's the thing now one of the people that really i've been told uh, moved um, him was none other than a person he never really has had really any connection with none other than this man that's right thomas markle who i thought very graciously whichever way you look at it wished him all the very best in a public domain way uh, for his ongoing treatment now it's interesting because according to a very well placed source and as ever i have to say allegedly Meghan Markle was less than thrilled with this particular hijacking of what she felt was a personal royal story. Now, one might suggest that perhaps Meghan herself could go public and wish her father all the very best um, about his ongoing medical battles. We know how that's uh, sort of flaring out now, don't we? With, of course, her half-sister, Samantha. But whichever way you look at it, Thomas Markle has had his own battles. Some people say you don't know the full story. Of course, a lot of people never know the full story on anything. Either way, what we do know is he's been in hospital, so you have to say that. But according to that well-placed source, her, apparently His Majesty the King was kind of stunned, you know, by it, because, of course, it was kind of a, you know, it, I mean, obviously, it's going to get headlines, but he, he felt that was a really kind gesture. And I have been told that he will, in time, uh, no doubt receive a response from courtiers thanking him for his kind words. As ever, His Majesty the King and his team are indeed with impeccable manners. But you can imagine how this didn't play exactly very well for Meghan Markle because there she is with her father still recovering but not bothered to go and see him. Whichever way you look at it, it looks bad PR. Now, even if this was done with something else in mind, I'm not certain that either Harry or Meghan will bother to take the time to reach out to a man who, like, of course, His Majesty the King, is in of advancing years and perhaps may be a wonderful opportunity to reconnect on any level. Bad PR seems to attach itself to Meghan and Harry, but it could easily be reversed, as their team have told them. Seemingly, though, they don't want to do it. Whichever way, it doesn't look good. Thomas Markle, though, thank you for your kind words to His Majesty the King. Much appreciated. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.